All right, this is hella random right now, but I'm in South Korea. Two days ago, I was in Thailand. Flashback to the other day, I was trying to get on some big fish. So apparently yesterday they caught 23 tuna, some sailfish, some GT, and hopefully it's gonna be the same thing today. They said the conditions are great. There's only five people on this boat, so it's almost like a private charter. This is the dock, boats lined up on the water. I think there's a chef on the boat that's gonna cook the fish that we catch. So this should be a great trip if, if it's anything like what they said yesterday was. There's no boats, I can't find anything in Korea. Everybody speaks Korean. Gotta do it the old fashioned way. Find some rocks, and go fishing on here. Right now, I'm by the bridge. I'll show you that in a second. But this area is loaded with fishermen and the area looks great for fishing. It's like a rocky, calm Mendocino, really. So that is where I climbed down from. A lot of people here. This is one rock that's clear of people though. So this is what I brought to Korea with me. Tackle box with my leaders, bunch of hooks, bunch of swim baits, swivels, some top water stuff just in case I run into any bait flopping on the water. A sabiki. And yeah, some jig heads and stuff. So just the basic equipment. Geez, there are a lot of mosquitoes out here. That's why everybody else who's fishing is wearing long sleeves. I just saw one on my, ar on my arm that was just full of blood. All right, first cast, sandworm, three quarter ounce weight. So to go a little bit deeper into what I was saying earlier, I'm in South Korea right now, Pusan to be exact. I spent a week in Thailand last week, another week in Korea this week. Unfortunately, I didn't get enough footage for a video last week. I tried to go out twice on the charter boat. The first time I was halfway out and the engine died. Sorry. So we had to be towed back to shore. We were promised GT, sailfish, tuna, and more. Big fish, big game fish. That didn't work out. So the next day, two days later, I tried to go on another, another charter boat and it was horrible. It was the worst charter boat I've ever been on in my life. 11 people on the boat, they had four rods. Those four rods were used for trolling. And once we got to the bottom fishing area, she pulled out what we thought were gonna be a bunch of rods for the rest of us, but she pulled out a bunch of hand lines. No way we're gonna catch any GTs with no hand lines. And the lines were so old and so oh, well, I messed up. Luckily, right I brought here. my travel rod and I fished with that for a little bit. Oh, it's too like that. Hey! <laughs> yeah. Hello! Get up to the area from there. Oh, yeah, you there. I want to eat. But man, that was a, not a good trip at all. So I think I'm going to be stuck on these rocks fishing, which I can't complain about that, it's all good with me. This city is huge though. Just yesterday we were in uh, Seoul and it took 45 minutes to drive from one side to another. Now we're in Busan and just the apartment buildings stretch for miles, it's crazy. All of these huge buildings that you see in the background, those are all apartment buildings. It's just wild out here, the amount of people. Well, there's eight fishermen out here right now and I haven't seen anybody pull up anything in the last 20 minutes. So in a minute or two, if I don't get anything on this cast, I'm gonna load up all my gear and keep walking. All right, walk down a little ways, don't wanna to get too far. I feel like the only fish that are gonna bite are gonna be pretty small, honestly. So if you're watching this video expecting a huge monster, you might not be satisfied at the end. Well, I had a good little hit at first. Took most of the sandworm, 
try that again over here. I kind of like this spot. Slightly smaller sandworm this time, so he can't take that whole tail in. Hopefully he'll just bite it and get hooked. No idea what that announcement means. I hope it's not an attack from North Korea. It's funny, in Thailand or Korea, it's all the same, you know? People work, trying to get food, trying to get money. I used to think if you travel to another country, something's going to be different. But it's really the same. All that's different is skin color and the language you speak. And the temperature of the environment. But other than that, it's all, all the same. Well, there's a school of mackerel right on top, literally six inches from the top. Makes me think my technique's all wrong. Maybe the fish are suspended. I got this little spinner and that just might work. Well, that's not working. Well, I switched back to sort of a Carolina rig, the sliding rig right here, but I'm using the light, lighter line. And I'm using one of these little jig heads that I got from earlier. They kind of mimic those pinfish that are swimming right on shore. I'm using this little weight just to keep it down a little bit more. About 10 casts, no luck. So, uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to go back to the sandworm. The only thing that I've gotten a hit on so far. Swivel. Dropper loop to a sandworm. Another dropper loop to a sandworm. And a three quarter ounce weight. So this is how long the leader is. Hoping that there's something off the ground. The thing that made me switch to this high low is I've seen those other fish swimming near the top of the surface. 